Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video, what we're going to see is the watch feature that we have in the software. So let's go to the presentation. So basically, the watch allowed us to see the actual value of the variables that we want. So as you can see here in this picture, let me just change this pen by default if we don't use the watch okay if we go to the uh, local area of the view use we can see the actual value okay which is nice or if we go to a gbl we can also see the actual value of the variables and if we are seeing the code we can see the actual value of the variables which is fine now imagine that you have more than one PUU, more than one GBL, okay? And if you want to check the status of different information that is spread during the code, the best way to check it is using the watch. So you can put all the values together in just one place. So if we go to view, okay, in the top bar, left part, you can see the view, then you have the watch. Here you have four different watches that you can use. So click on one of them and then you should be able to see this image over here. Okay, then you have the expression that's going to be the variable based on the application GBL or PUU that you have and then the name of the variable. Application, if you have different um, controllers inside your project, you can select which should be the variable that you want to use the type value and then if we want to force a new value or write a new value we have this prepare value okay which is the same as we have on the on the gbl's views so if we select here in the expression part okay with just one click should we would see this icon this icon allowed us to see the input assistant so as soon as you click on this icon, it will open the input assistant that basically the input assistant, as we saw previously in order to assign the variables, is the same here. We just go to the categories and we can see the different variables that we have in the software and the different organization that we have. And if we are not able to find it in there, okay, the best way is to use the text search that we have on this side, okay, so we can easily find the variable, okay. So double click on the bird that we want, click in OK that is over here. OK, and then you should be able to add it on the watch. OK, so as far as you add multiple variables, OK, they are located in different places. OK, and if you are online with the controller, you can see the actual value. In the prepare value column, what you can do is to define the new variable that you're going to use. OK, and then if I hide myself, you have the possibility to use the write and force. Okay, they are over here. So you can write or force the value that you have over here to here. Okay, but okay, bear in mind that we already talked about this uh, write and force, which is in the previous video. Okay, if I'm not wrong. So bear in mind the difference between write and force. Okay, so if you if you don't want to use the expression, okay, and imagine that you are just trying to figure out what's going on with the code, okay, what you can do is to go to the code, to the part that you, that you want, and then select the variable, okay, right click, and then you just have this option, add to watch list. So it just automatically add that variable in the watch list, okay. Now, let's play a little bit around with the, with the software, okay. Oops. So let's go to the software now. So let's try to log into the controller and then just try to um, see some variables. So I'm working in a simulation. Okay, let me just to adjust this view just a little bit. Mm -hmm. There we go. So let's full view. You can see here I'm in simulation mode. Okay, and I'm working with the application my controller which is over here okay another way to do this is just application right click and two, 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 three. 
and you have the set active application but you need to be in another one okay this one is full this means that this is the actual one if i change over here to by one and if i change over here set active it changed and two for one so that's additional information so let's select the m262 which is in simulation then i call in some variables over here so let's try to be online okay and you can see here view there is no watch okay and then i add it into the software so i'm going to delete this part okay start fresh you can add another one in case you want it there's some rubbish information from before okay so now i should be able to connect going to simulation just bear with me okay Okay, yes. Spare it. Okay. So the PLC is in run in a simulation. So we can use the watch over here. We have the watches. Let's add another one. Watch one. Okay, watch one, watch two, watch one. Here you have the this icon so you can access into your software information, uh, my controller, application, GBLs. I really don't know what I have, but we can add it over here. Okay, and see if it's using or not. I believe it's not in use that and it's all internals. Okay, that's why it's not being called. So if we right click over here, add watch, you can see the watch. Add this one add to watch list okay and uh, let's see if i call in another one uh empty this one this one is a structure okay this internal structure but the one that you are created over here i can call it and this one okay it's a specific structure i'm going to show you later it should be sec dot plc underscore gbl and then inside here we have more stuff, but I'm going to call it that later. So if we go back to this view, you here, what I'm going to do is to enable this. So as you can see, as soon as I try to do this, okay, it also prepared the value on the view you part, but this can also be applied to the GBL. Okay. So right click over here, write values. Yes. And there we go. Okay. And write values again. So another way, let me just double check so we can avoid that message of writing. If we want to connect with the controller, okay, my controller, we can uncheck this confirm online mode and the system should ask me for the, for the confirmation of the writing, if I'm not wrong or it's only with the real controller so if we go back here i try to write this write values and there we go without that uh pop-up message or double confirmation okay so imagine that i want now to use the gbl just to show you that i'm not lying uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. let's try to do this i don't know what is inside but gbl dot work config uh, GBL dot work save. I don't know what I've done with this one, but okay, no problem. Okay, download. So this is just how to use the watch. Uh, it's a useful tool. So add to watch list. Add to watch list. Now here, if I press, I don't know, four, five, six. And if you go to GBL, you can see the prepare value. Right click over here, right values, and there we go. It's just doing what I want to do. So let me just up a check if I forget something. Log into the controller, download your code, that's okay. Other watch in the program, we already see it. Using the input assistant and barely see it. Um, but it's here 
uh, my controller and you have also the ios application gbl and i'll show you that uh, ta -ta -ta, my controller application this one why it doesn't work in this way w or what is the name w bar configuration gbl ta -ta -ta, my controller it doesn't show anything hmm. okay so i should delete all this part okay i thought it's gonna work no problem so uh boom just check another thing here it add the complete route here you but it doesn't like this way Okay, so in this case, okay, if you're using the input assistant, uh, unless there is something else to configure, then what I recommend you to do is to just, uh, you can type the variable that you want, GBL, dot the name of the variable that you have, okay, or the name of the PRU, then you're using PRU ST dot the variable. Okay, I thought that this one, was going to work. I don't know why. Um, or something in configuration, but no problem. Um, this way probably the one that I use most, rather than this one. Okay, that's why I didn't check it. Um, the other thing that you can do, okay, is to right click on the values that you want and then ask to watch. Probably that is going to be also much easier. Add watch. There we go without all the complete application routes. Let me just check if I drag and drop it works. Yes, drag and drops, it works. So if we delete all this, drag and drop, there we go. GBL, drag and drop, it also works. Okay, so this is another way to do it. Uh, right, so force then from code early and use display, the display mode. Okay, let me just check display mode I didn't show you so imagine that you have that you are working with the watch okay and you are trying to access for example a bit from a word okay um, you don't know the real change behind you instead of using the calculator to see which is the bit um, you just right click over here display mode okay let me just put this a little bit higher right click display mode and then you can change to binary so you can see here how it's changed the binary so if I add oh, this one you're able to see how all the bits are changed um, another way is to use the hexadecimal so we change to hexadecimal so this is another way to figure out what is what is going on inside the word that you have, the word or whatever value that you have, just to see the bits. Okay. So if I'm wrong, this is everything that I want to show you for the watch. So you can drag and drop it, it's gonna work. You can um type the name of the GBL or the PUU and then the dot so you can see the complete list of the parameters that you have inside or uh right click on the code that you have to add to the watch list. So these are the only ways. Uh, that you can use it okay so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one